Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, the Tube Tempest. I want to show you my APM 2.8 uh, kit that I got from eBay. And uh, everything was working perfectly, but in Loiter, it was very windy today. And when the wind would hit the board, it would sink. And it would sink. And I was looking on the internet to find out the solution for that problem. They were saying to put foam on it. And some people were saying that it's because of the wind going over it. So I put this cover on it and then I, I was noticing that the light affected it too so I spray painted it black and left little windows. And ever since I did this, this quadcopter stays absolutely rock solid in the wind. I mean it was blowing wind. I could barely stand up. I'm exaggerating but it was very windy. And I have a video at the end where I show it, you, me spinning in a loiter mode and it just stays right there perfectly still and what this is is just a little salad a little uh, plastic bowl with ribbon that's attached to the legs and this thing made all the difference in the world for this uh, it's these little bowls like this like that you have candy for for parties and I just melted some holes put ribbon through it put the GPS through it and boy it that fixes all the problems with the barometer or whatever it's called the altimeter I don't know, whatever makes it altitude hold, that makes it perfect. Plus, it looks neat, I think. It looks a lot less messy. You know, you can grab it from there. It probably will protect it. Like, if it goes in a tree, it won't snag the wires. I just like that. I like it. I like the look of it, too. Looks pretty spiffy. Okay, so I'm going to show you a video at the end of this of it doing it. But I wanted to show you my setup. This is APM 2.8 from eBay. And the whole kit was like 150 bucks from China, right? And it comes with the GPS, the uh, controller, the ESCs, which are those things, the speed controllers, the motors, um, and the propellers. Just basically everything except for the battery. Here's the battery down here. You can get a 5,000 milliamp battery. It'll keep you up for like 20 minutes. And that's about $25. So like for $175, you can get all that with the battery. And this is the remote that I have. It's not a remote, it's a radio, whatever. And it's a Turnigy 9X, which I hear is very good. And I know for a fact that it can go as far. I mean, it's gone as far. This thing's like a dot. I don't even know how far this goes, but it goes far enough. But this will come home if, that, if it goes too far, so that's cool. But this was like, uh, you can get this from Hobby King for like $59 plus shipping. You can get it from eBay for like $79 from United States, free shipping. But I recommend getting this and this. This, Turnigy 9X, APM 2.8, and a battery from wherever. But this thing flies so good. It's like, man, it's just... It's like a rock just sits there. If there's no wind, it's like this thing's on a string. It's, it's very cool. You can hook it up to your computer, have it fly around um, on the map, like GPS coordinates, what they're called waypoints. You can have it go around and spin around op objects and come back. And There's all kinds of stuff you can do. APM 2.8, look it up because it's really cool. I recommend getting one of these and making it. Once you get it all dialed in, man, it's just, it's awesome. It's doing really well. I'm just gonna spin it to see if it, how much it drops. The wind's really good. Earlier before when I was doing it without this cover, it would drop like a rock in the wind, especially when I was spinning it. Okay, I'm going up on the stick on accident. That was an accident. That's why it went up, because I was going up on the stick. But man, it's doing good. It's considering the wind. I'm so excited. This thing's going to go on good on missions now.